Hi, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the First Bankers Trust um, wellness plan that we have put into place um, for the 2022-2023 year. Um, my name is Hannah Cramsey and I am going to um, talk a little bit about this with you guys. Um, I've been with Blessing for about four and a half years. Um, and I've been here at the Be Well at Work clinic since I started. So um, we're gonna get started here. So the goal of the program is to help employees adapt and maintain healthy behaviors over time, improve employee health and reduce healthcare costs, further improve employee engagement and camaraderie. So um, that's the ultimate goal of this program. Um, of course, yes, it's great to get our points so we get the incentive, but this is what we really want, okay? Um, the campaign actually started November 1st and um, of 2022, and it ends October 31st of 2023. Um, so if you've been going to the Blessing Wellness Center or you, um, you know, might have a fitness tracker um, that you have hooked up to manage well, you can get those points. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But um, yes, if you have been going to the Wellness Center, you will get points for that. Um, the goal this year is to accumulate 600 points. So last year, the goal was to get 400. This year, it's 600. Um, and the reasoning behind that is we had so many people do so well. So um, we just want to, you know, overall keep um, moving up here. And it's just so great how you guys have um, just done really well in the 2021-2022 year that um, Melinda and I and Natalie have decided that we can get up to that 600 points. If the employee obtains the required points by October 31st, 2023, they will receive a medical premium discount in 2024. Um, of course, that is if the employee is on the insurance. A cash incentive will be rewarded to those who are not on the insurance, but obtain that 600 points that we um, have set in place. So, um, you know, always something to look forward to. And it's great that your employer is doing, um, you know, great things with allowing even those that aren't on the insurance to get a cash incentive because that, you know, is also great for you guys as well. So how can we get those 600 points? Um, you know, you guys will get a list as well. Um, I'll send out the PowerPoint that you can, you know, look through as well, but um, we'll kind of just go through here. So we will do the quarterly presentations and I'll send those out um, through email and we'll be able to get those out to you that way. It's just a little bit easier than coming on site since there are a lot of different sites for the First Bankers employees. If you attend a presentation, you'll get 25 points. Um, and again, those are all virtual, um, typically 10 to 15 minutes. Um, a lot of them we do a quiz as well. So um, that's something to look for in your email too. Um, next up is exercise. So going to the Blessing Wellness Center three times a week or obtaining 90 minutes of exercise on that's hooked up to the ManageWell account. So um, I know that we've gotten some questions about what kind of devices can get hooked up. Um, I have an Apple Watch, which I have hooked up to my ManageWell account through Blessing. Um, I know Fitbit, Garmin, um, there's a couple more, but if anyone has questions on how to set their watch up, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I can even come on site to First Bankers if that's easier, um, but it really doesn't take long. And I know a lot of people, um, might struggle with this, but even asking a coworker if they can help you. But again, I'm more than happy to come on site to you guys and help you get that set up. So if you attend the, or if you go to the Blessing Wellness Center three times a week, um, or you get the 90 minutes of physical activity, you'll get 10 points per week. Um, so, you know, another great way to get points. Next up is a completion of a wellness event. So a wellness event could be anything from, you know, the turkey run that's coming up on Thanksgiving day at the YMCA, um, or maybe running a half marathon or doing a sprint triathlon or um, anything along the lines of that. Um, you know, walking, running, swimming, biking, um, you know, a warrior dash, they have those um, like paint runs, those types of things. Anything like that, um, I'll just need proof that you complete it. So again, just email me either like your certificate or something like that, and I'm happy to get that put in manage well for you. 
Um, next up is the wellness challenges that we send out. So last year we had great success with the Tanita Skill Challenge. Um, we did a milestone walking challenge that's always fun. Um, you know, we'll get those challenges out to you as the year goes on. But um, for the wellness challenges, you'll get 25 points for completing that. And maybe even some additional points if you know you're the first, second, or third place. Um, ongoing wellness coaching. So I do ongoing wellness coaching. We have a couple other coaches here at the clinic that do ongoing wellness coaching um, or care coordination, um, meeting with Peggy, our nurse, um, regarding care coordination. For completing that, you'll get 50 points, which is great. Um, ongoing wellness coaching is a great way to set goals and you know we can work together to achieve that. Um, and again, we've had a lot of successes from those wellness, um, ongoing wellness coaching. Next up is the annual biometric screening. Um, this is kind of, you know, for completing the screening, you get 25 points. However, you know, if you're HDL, LDL, total cholesterol, BMI, um, blood pressure, if those are in the normal ranges, you get additional points. Um, again, the point breakdown is on the slides. Um, we'll go a little bit more in depth with those, um, but you'll get 25 points for completing the screening in addition to um, how, you know, your numbers fall out and that kind of thing. The next thing that um, we are in, that annual biometric screening is mandatory. So you could get 850 points, but if you don't complete the biometric screening, then you won't receive the incentive for 2024. Um, next up, another thing that we have um, made mandatory this year is the annual checkup with your healthcare provider. So that is mandatory. Um, you know, it can either be here at the clinic, it can be at BPS, it can be at QMG, it can be at Hannibal Clinic. Um, you know, wherever you go, I will just need record that you saw your provider. So um, I didn't get too many of these this year, but we will need record that you have completed your annual physical with your provider. Um, you can either tell your nurse if you come here to the Blessing and Pull Your Clinic to let me know that you have completed that. Um, or you could fax in, you know, if you see a provider that's not here at the clinic, you'll just need to fax me something that shows, hey, I did see my annual, or I did see my provider this year. Um, and also this year, um, they have made it mandatory to do a preventative care measure too. Um, it can be um, defined as a mammogram, pap, colonoscopy, PSA, um, any of those things. So we will need proof that you completed that as well. Again, um, you can tell your nurse here or um, email that to me or fax it into our clinic and just put attention Hannah Cramsey and it'll get sent to me. Um, so a little bit more with the biometric screening numbers. Um, if you're in the normal range of, you know, that HDL, LDL, triglycerides, um, blood, glucose, that type of thing, you'll get 25 points. If you are um, within the high ranges, you'll get 15. So again, a lot of additional points that we can get there and there's six bio measures. So if you're in the normal range of those six, you'll get 150 points plus the 25 for completing the screening. So that's 175 points out of the 600 that we need to get this year. All right, moving on. So I talked a little bit about the trackers, um, the fitness trackers and the Blessing Wellness Center. Um, the trackers, again, that can be synced up are the Fitbit, Garmin, Apple Watch. I know that there are a couple more and I'd be happy to help you get that set up. Um, by doing that, you'll want to make sure that you get 90 minutes of physical activity a week. Um, so then you'll get those 10 points for the week. And then also swiping in at the Blessing Wellness Center three times a week. So um, a great way, you know, if you, work out pretty consistently, it's a great way to rack up those points. So the 2023 biometric screening is, um, you know, just a couple months away. Um, we will be on site at the beginning of February. So February 6th, we will be at 12th and Broadway. February 7th, we will be at the Cooks Lane location. February 8th, we will be at the Op Center. And February 9th, we will be at both the 33rd and Broadway and 24th and State locations. So um, again, that biometric screening is mandatory. Um, and we have been asked a couple times that if we get, if you get annual lab work done, 
Um, we can talk about those at the biometric screening. They can count, but they have to be done within three months of the biometric screening. So, um, and if you see a blessing provider, we can look those up. If you see, you know, a Quincy Medical Group provider, an outside provider, um, we'll need you to bring those lab works with you. But um, again, three months within um, that time frame, and we can get those or utilize those labs. Um, you'll need the lipid panel um, and then the cholesterol levels and also the um, blood sugar as well. Um, but yeah, we'll do the coaching session off of that too. All right, so I know that we talked a little bit about the annual visit with the primary care physician. So you'll either wanna email it to me. Um, my email is on the slideshow and I know most of you guys have it um, or fax it to the clinic. Again, that number is on um, the slideshow as well. Um, but yeah, you can just give us a clinical summary and um, we'll get those points put in manage well for you. All right, um, for those of you that have a smartphone, you can download the manage well app. It's a little bit easier, um, you know, to use it on the go. Um, it's always nice to have at your fingertips if you're, you know, waiting in the car for one of your kids or even um, at a doctor's appointment or something like that. It's nice to do um, fill out some stuff on there. Another thing um, that we'll want to complete whenever you get a chance is that health risk assessment um, on the Manage Well app. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and again, you'll be awarded points for that as well. So um, very good. Let's see here. So after um, listening to this presentation today, make sure that you get on Manage Well and complete the one question quiz um, from the presentation and you'll be awarded 25 points to kind of kickstart our um, wellness program for 2022 to 2023. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to email me at hannah.cramsey at blessinghealth.org um, or you can give me a call here at the clinic. Um, my phone number is 217-214-6300 and my extension is 2305. Um, email is probably the easiest way to get a hold of me though. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but I look forward to working with you guys this 2022-2023 year. Thank you and have a good day.